Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips. And just this morning, I was working on a logo for a customer with an accent over the E. And I used to insert character to find that. And then I started playing around and I thought, this is pretty neat. Maybe I'll make a video about this. But let's say you want to, let's take this this way, the word, the sentence this way. So you want to insert a character. Hold down your control button and hit F11. It's going to bring up your insert character docker. You need to be in text and put your cursor at the end of the word. And let's pick something out of here. Let's pick this arrow and just drag it to get inside that line. And it's going to add an arrow to the end and it's already grouped together. I mean, it's, it's part of the font. Now let's do the same thing with epilogue here. And let's add a kind of a wing ding looking thing. Let's add this one. Let's add this one right here. Whoop. I'm not clicked on it. So you need to have your cursor at the end. Bring it around and just kind of go past that line. Now let's put our cursor at the front of the line. And let's see and grab this one. And there you go. You've got a little frill or decorative or whatever you want to call it to your wording. And, you know, some of these items that on here would be really difficult to draw. Or, you know, you could draw them, but it would take you some time. There's a, like a ship's wheel or a snowflake crosses, uh, water drop. And th this is just inside of Wingding. I'm using Wingding right now. And Wingding, there's a bunch of them. There's Wingding 1, 2, and 3. You know, every font has different characters. There's a registered trademark, you know, your quarters. That's not the best. You know, your aerials or your most common fonts are going to have your more. There's copyright. There's area, uh, registered trademark. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.